Welcome back to today's vlog. We are starting off um, in the car. We're headed to Walmart, have to pick up a few things. I'm actually gonna be doing some painting um, in the girls' room, decided on a color. So I'll share that with you guys in a little bit. And I need to get some paint brushes. Jay has some stuff he has to get for the car. And we need to get some chlorine. So we're gonna head over there really quick and then go to Sherwin-Wood to pick up this paint and then just get some things done and accomplished uh, with this video, basically starting or starting on some projects and finishing up a few more things that we wanted to do something's going on with the car so let me check back in with you guys in a little bit Okay, y'all, we are back home. It's hot outside. My little ponytail all sweat out, but it's fine. We're back home. So the paint color I got, I think I told you, I'm not sure, is Alabaster from Sherwin-Williams. It's a color we've been looking at for a long time for other parts of the house. And then I had like three colors, um, and I just let the girls pick which color they would want. So Alabaster is what we got. And then I actually saw another color in there. It's called um, Elusive Green. It's a real pretty, subtle green color. Um, their godmother wanted to do their be her bedroom. Hold on. Her bedroom with an accent wall with a green, and I thought this was like a pretty green, but it's also, I think, a pretty green if I wanted to do like an accent wall in the girls' room. This would be probably a cons uh, one of the ones that I would try to go for in the um, as far as including paint colors. That's one of them that I would choose to go with, plus some other colors. So I just bought that just in case. Um, we got some paint brushes I got these for the rollers I got another paint brush I have one of these already I really like this one when you're cutting the walls and stuff but I got a new one a thing of wipes and then me and Sanaya went to Target yesterday she had a little appointment she had to go to I don't know if y'all can see me the light there we go she had an appointment she had to go to so we went to Target yesterday I actually picked up three home items and well actually I say two kind of home items and then I picked up the hooks for Mason originally I was gonna get like a uh, actual like bracket to put up but I just got the hooks for now and worst case scenario I could change it out later it's by the hearth and hand collection so I'm gonna show you guys that stuff really quick and then what I got for home I didn't pay anything out of pocket for these things these were credits that I had in my um, target cart so basically about probably 45 hmm probably like $50 in credit, if not more I had. So that's what I used to buy these things that I got from home. So let me show you guys really quick. I'm gonna prop you up so you can see it. So hopefully y'all can see me good. The light is not that crazy, um, what I'm trying to show y'all right now. So basically, the hooks I got, they were like, what? oh, my dad's calling me. Hold on a minute. All right, guys, I'm back. Focus, okay. So yeah, the hooks I got were from Hearth and Handline, right here. They're bath hooks, but they could still be used in the room. And they were $4.99, and this is how they look. I think they're really sleek, modern looking. And this is something like what I was looking to put up on his, um, that came on like a board that you put across the door. But I'm gonna just do this right now, two of them on his door, one for his towel, and then the other one he could use to hang like his backpack or his jacket or whatever on that. So I have that, and then, give me one second. This cutting board I saw, they have it in this color, brown, and then they also have like a lighter color brown. I went with more of this color, if you can see it good, because it actually matches the covers of my canisters that I have on the counter a little bit better. And this was $9.99 from Hearth and Hand. And again, this is just gonna be, I'm thinking to use it as just like a, um, oh word, my mind went so blank. Basically, it's just a prompt, just for something for me to put against the 
I'm actually gonna put it against the black one that I have up there because it looks a little sterile, so I wanna add a little bit more warmth to it. So I'm gonna put this in front of the black one, and this is one that I found that's kind of, that's cheapest that I could find. So I got this, and then this vase. You guys probably already know about this, but looking at it for a long time, they have the bigger one to it that's about $30, but I got this one because I'm probably gonna use it like on the table or on the, um, peninsula even over there by the tv and i think it's just a nice size it's not too big not too small and this was 24.99 and again i didn't pay any money for any of these these were basically purchased through my credits that i have when i get like um household supplies or anything or just buying stuff through um the target will i got credit for that so that's how i purchased those things so if you don't have the target app definitely get it because it does help with you know getting certain things whether it be household stuff personal products or whatever so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and probably start getting this room um prepped i'm gonna just dust down the walls because i already have the bed to the side and i need to show you guys the fan i'm gonna cue really quick to the date that we had when we were putting the fan in and then i'll come back through and show you guys how it looks and then also um like i said i'm gonna just wipe the walls down to make sure there's no dust in there prep a little bit and then we're gonna start getting some painting done so this is the fan that we got I'll put the company's name below from Amazon that sent it this was not the first um, one that we wanted but they sent this asked the girls if they liked it and they were fine with it but I'll pop the one on that I had originally wanted um, they're going for more boho modern feel so it's a fan and you can see it's modern and it has the lights here and then they sent us gloves I guess to put on to use to put the fan up and then also, I guess that's the remote that comes for it. And yeah, just looks simple and straight to the point. So this is how it looks. I'll show you guys a little bit while Jay's putting it up. Excuse the girl's room, but this is the light that's up here, the fan. Let me turn off the light so you can see it. This is what came with the house. Um, it worked at first when we first got here and then it just, the fan didn't work anymore. So lights work, but no fan. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and change. Well, he said never worked. I thought it did a little bit. Maybe. Spent okay, so it basically never worked. So we're gonna change this out, and as I said, we're going for a boho modern feel. So this is gonna be the first thing that we change out. So stay tuned for everything else that comes after that, and I'll show you a little bit of him putting it up and then how it looks after. So the remote for the fan is already wired, pre-wired. Mm -hmm. So you have your your black, your white, and of course you're gonna mm -hmm. use it only while you're at the install. So these you just leave them out. Yeah, these are these are already okay. You just leave them in there. Okay. You just focus on these three bars. Okay. And the ground. Okay. So here is the girls' room. This is how it looks. If it's your first time being here, then this is the first time that you guys are seeing it. Um, that is a light fixture that I got from a company that was gracious enough to send it to us. So Jay put this up the other day. It's very pretty. Let me put it on for you guys. Hold on. Okay, so it comes basically a fan and a light feet fixture. There we go. It's nice and bright. I have daylight bulbs in here. I'll show you the bulbs that I purchased to put in there. And then also it has a fan, has six speeds on it. You guys can see that it's going. And it's very quiet. I mean, when you go up on the speed, it does get a little bit louder, but not too bad. And then you can put the timer on here. This right here controls the sound, like if you're pressing it and you don't want it to make noise, you go ahead and put it like that. You have reverse feature on it, it's not focusing, and then you have the for it feature. I think the reverse feature you use more in the winter time, for it you use more when it's summertime to bring the um, air down, and then reverse is to bring the hot air up. So that's that, but it's a really pretty fan, light fixture, has a nice boho um, modern feel to it. The girls love it, and then now we're gonna just go ahead and get this room situated. We're saying goodbye to all of this bright pink, which was really a good, pretty color for its time, but it's time for it to go right now.
okay guys it is some hours later you see we have made progress um basically the room is i would say mm, about 80 percent finished um i'll show you how it looks i'm loving the color right now in here um we finished basically one side of it for the most part it's like a quarter piece what you see right here is what we have left to do and then this right here needs to be rolled out one more time possibly two um, I bought a gallon of paint. I may need to go back and get one more gallon just to make sure we have enough just to do a little extra covering. And then also, also um, these blinds have to come out. So Jay's going to have to do some patching. So we're going to have to have paint for like touch up and stuff like that. So this is basically what's left for the most part. We have to finish rolling just that part right there. Do this, cut in the edges, the corners, and then this wall right here, just finish that up. But just a little sneak peek this is what it looks like you guys see it's a pretty color um, very nice very nice color definitely a different look for the room so I can't wait to show you guys yeah so that's that uh, definitely painting is a great way to transform your room my plans and goals in here I'm gonna just let you guys know um, I would like to get two twin beds for them um, we're gonna have a nice pretty sconce on the wall over here on this wall i'm still trying to figure out if i want to do a peel and stick wallpaper some kind of art decor or either um maybe some kind of wooden design i'm not sure yet so we'll figure that out and then also as i said i wanted to bring the blinds up to the ceiling so we're changing out the curtains um putting the tv on the wall and then i have some storage stuff i want to do in the closet with their shoes so i'll bring you guys along for all of that stuff this was just us getting started on these things it's going to take time a little bit at a time so each video hopefully i'm able to bring you guys some updates of some different things that's going on and then from here now we're going to try to finish this up tomorrow and then i still have some other stuff that i need to do in front of the house i do want to do my little spring um kitchen clean decor so i'll probably try to add that in here it's going to be kind of over the place but it is a uh march you know home update reset refresh project so you're getting everything in one so again if you guys enjoy the video make sure you subscribe like comment definitely share and i'll get back with you guys in a little bit okay guys we're on another day um jay and the kids actually went to Publix to get some groceries. Uh, we're supposed to be painting today. Today's kind of a blah day. I'm not feeling too hot. Um, so probably not going to get to painting today. We'll probably do it during the week to finish off the rest of the room. But they went to get groceries and the fridge does need to get wiped out. So I figured I'll do that really quick with you guys. Let me show you how everything looks. So nothing crazy. I just need to get it a little bit more situated being that we want to get groceries. You can see down here that stuff i just want to do a quick wipe out so i'll share that with you guys and just get everything situated so i just wanted to be honest with y'all and show y'all some real life stuff if i don't clean this out it don't get cleaned out this is what's sitting in there that's some nasty shit excuse my language but yeah Here's how it's looking. Like I said, nothing special. Just wiped everything out. We actually need to get a new fridge at some point. The ice maker stopped working and stuff, but it's doing its job. But that is it. It's clean. Everything's wiped out. Got rid of what I had to get rid of. Kids draw here clean. So when all the new food and snacks and juices come, they can just be filled in here. My freeze is already good, so that's that. And this is the stuff that is garbage. So I'll be throwing that out. Hey friends, this is a few days later. Um, I basically am not including the kitchen spring decorate. That video probably would have been already Sunday. I just decided to go ahead and do that separately because it was gonna take a while to get the other stuff that I wanted to do in the house done. So I just did it separately, but we went to Walmart. So I'll show you what we picked up really quick. 
needed to get a few things. I needed to make some soup. Um, Zoe's not feeling good, so I wanted to make her some soup or just soup for everybody, but soup would be the best thing. And then also we needed to get some um, laundry detergent and things like that. So I'll show you what we got really quick. And I also needed to get some of this dry moss. And like I said, you would have seen the video by now of uh, what I got as far as the spring cleaning in the kitchen. But I'll take you guys along and show you what I have and we'll continue on from there. We also stopped by Sharon Williams, finally got the other gallon of paint so we can start finishing the girls' bedroom wall. So we got another bottle of chlorine. Jay picked that up and then this is the moss that I'm using to add to the uh, little plant that I did right there. So I wanted to get this to just finish it off. Some gain, Tide um, scent boosters. Jay wanted to try these pods with the Febreze and then also we got the uh, Arm & Hammer pods to try those as well instead of getting the liquid. This is new for us as far as this particular one. I think that this particular brand of Arm & Hammer is basically new. They had another one there too, but we're trying this one. And then got some chicken broth. This is for the soup. Just picked up some bo boxes of the Jiffy flour, some cold medication for everybody. Like I said, everybody's been a little under the weather, so pick some more of that up. Takis, of course, for Sanaya. Some wash, and then picked up some cinnamon raisin bread, regular bread, and some onion bagels. A thing of bacon. This stuff here is basically also for the soup, florets, the carrots, cheese. Need a, I think we had basil, but I wasn't sure, so I picked that up. Some orange juice, of course. And then over here, some pancakes, wedges, butter. I need it for the soup. Sour cream, beef. I'm only using half of this because you only need a pound of meat. Picked up some of the, um, what do you call it, hash browns. And then also a can of the cinnamon rolls, two bananas, some shallow or green onions, and then some little potato bites to put in the soup as well. But that is it for this quick grocery haul. So we are in finally in Mason's room. He's wiping down his shelf. We're gonna get the cars and everything situated. We're gonna just get in here, cleaned up the best we can. I need to strip his bed down, put those sheets in the wash, and then also we're gonna wipe down these stairs. As usual, you guys know the stairs get pretty dirty because especially they're white. So we're gonna wipe those down, get over here situated. I'm gonna take any clothes out of that bin that needs to be taken out of, refold those. We're gonna just get everything um, back situated really quick and hopefully I can get the hooks up on the wall before this video is over with. For a better day 
Okay guys, so this is what the room looks like. I just have to vacuum. Everything is wiped down, cleaned off. This is stuff to get rid of. This is a bunch of trash right here. We're going to go through that another time, but everything that has to go in the washing machine, everything is put in its place. At some point, I will go through these clothes here and take those out, but I'm tired, so that is it for now. The room is clean. Everything is picked up, and like I said, all we have to do is just vacuum everything down, but everything is in its place where it needs to be at. You need to get those right there, Mason, and put them where they're supposed to be at. Get that more situated, and we're done okay guys good morning good morning i just came from outside sorry about the light i was doing some um yard work i'm looking a little rough i have to go shower and stuff like that but i wanted to get some clothes put in the machine first i also got the new rug for the family room so i can't wait to share that with you guys um i got a seven by nine which i think is probably equates to about an eight by ten size rug i haven't opened it yet um so yeah Got the rug. At some point, I'm going to put it down. I have to move that chair out of the way. I want to clean that chair off. Again, we're not changing anything like that yet. Just the rug. Um, and then have to brace myself and pace myself because my next purchase will be me doing the uh, wall trim and then, God willing, the curtains. Um, and then the other little knickknacks that I want to get, the course stuff I can get later. I still want to change the, or we want to change the TV stand. I want to change, put a coffee table there around one, and then also the couch at some point. But that's all in time, um, a little bit at a time, as I always say. But yeah, next would be the wall and then the curtains. I also have the sconces. So hopefully before this video is over, I can show you both of those items. Um, again, I'm really looking crazy. <laughs> but again, um, I'm going to go ahead and get some clothes in the washing machine. I'll take you guys along while I'm doing that. And then I also need to do some bathroom cleaning as usual. But we'll see what all I can fit into this video before it gets too long. And then we have to close out and continue on. My plant over here. I don't know if y'all been here for a long time if y'all remember Bruno. Bruno was like so small to the ground and he's getting so big. He actually was about the size of Miss Thing. Or maybe a little bit smaller. And she's actually starting to flourish more now. It's been taking her a while. I got Bruno after her. And she wasn't growing. But I stayed on top of her, and she's starting to sprout up a little bit more now, getting taller. And then Bruno is going to be, like, way up there soon. You know, if I can find a picture of him, how he looked before, I'll share it with you guys. But he is really flourishing. A beautiful plant. It's actually probably three in one now, this plant. But it is a beautiful plant. Um, if you guys like fig plants, they are not hard to maintain. As long as you don't overwater them. They love sunlight. So just making sure they get sun and things like that. But let me stop this rambling. We're gonna go get some clothes put into the washing machine. So I told you guys I was trying um, a new, well I've had the pods before. Um, I'm doing the Tide Pods, you pick these up and these have the Febreze Eliminator in them. And then these pods here for Arm & Hammer, these are actually new. So they have this one and then they have one that's in a purple color. I don't remember what type it is. This one is for stain. I think the other one has like the Febreze or the Oxy in it. But I got this one for stain. Um, instead of buying the liquid, we're going to try these out. And you actually got, hopefully she gave me $2 off. I think she did. If not, I'll just use the coupon for the next pack. Basically, you're going to use one for regular or light loads, and you can use two for the heavier, um, larger loads. And you're just going to throw them, let me see. Yeah, just add it to the drum as usual before the clothing. So we're going to do that right now. I just want to open up and see how, it, uh, how big they are. So these are small. These aren't big. The ones for the Tide, now they used them yesterday to wash something. I can't remember what it was. And those are actually used for the kids' clothes. Now the Tide ones, the Tide ones are huge. See how much bigger these are compared to the, look. Kind of, kind of, well, they look like they packed with a little bit more. Probably because they have the Febreze and stuff in it, but yeah. So, I'm going to um, wash the kids' clothes. So, I'm going to just use the Arm & Hammer ones right now. I'm going to throw two inside the drum. You want to can the camera? <laughs> I'm going to throw two inside the drum with a little bit of the uh, scented beads, some sanitizer, and then some softener. And that's going to be that.
Fam, this is another day. I'm gonna do a quick uh, grocery haul with you guys. It actually was supposed to be an Instacart pickup and they messed up the order. All they had was a box of chicken. So I ended up getting chicken free, which I actually didn't order any chicken. So I ended up getting a box of chicken free and then I had to go in the store and basically shop everything that I had originally put on my order. And everything came up to about 247. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got really quick and that's gonna be um, this grocery haul for this. And some of these were definitely buy one, get one. So I definitely took advantage of that. Um, just showing you guys really quick. The kids are home for spring break, so I definitely have to get a few more things, being that they're gonna be in-house. Let's take advantage of the time of them being home. An ice cream, buy one, get one. This, this chicken was free. But here, another thing of brownies. Stir fry on the skies. Um, sure. So not he don't want to slice. Yeah. 